We are now going to turn on the machine. Press the power button. It will read, please wait. This will take about 30 seconds. Alright, every time you turn on the machine, this message will appear. It will always appear when you first boot the machine, or after you've entered a new cartridge, reset a new cartridge. It will always read non-genuine ink. This is perfectly normal. It's just the Epson side of the printer telling you that you do not have Epson ink, which is fine. You'll hit the forward button five times. And it will ask if you want to continue. Notice that the yes has a left arrow, which corresponds to the left arrow on the select button. I'm going to press that. Now the Epson side will tell you that damage from the ink is not covered under warranty. This is normal. At Mesa, we do the warranty work on the machine. Now you hit the forward button five times again. And then you'll hit select. Now that we have the initial startup out of the way, the printer should say ready. You should also have a paper roll sheet icon in the bottom left. It looks like a little toilet roll paper. That's the easiest way to describe it uh, if you need phone support or anything. If the icon is not there, you want to hit the select button and the icon will change. Make sure that it's on the roll paper icon. Now the first thing we're going to do is a head cleaning. It's very simple. All you want to do is hold down the menu button for about three to five seconds. It will read cleaning and then you will let it go. After your first head clean, you will want to run two more right after. This ensures that all the ink has been primed into the nozzles of the printhead. Every time you do three head cleans from this panel, it will ask you if you want to perform a power clean. When it prompts you, you want to tell it no. The only time you want to do a power clean is if phone support or a technician advises it. Since this is the initial setup, it is not necessary. Now that we've done our initial head cleanings, the next step is to do a nozzle check. The nozzle check is a test pattern that shows you if your printhead is printing at 100%. Take note of the load button. It does exactly what it says. Loads the platen into the machine. On the other side, we have the bed button that raises and lowers the machine. To perform a nozzle check, we are going to load the platen upside down on the machine. Then we're going to press the load button. Now if you notice, the platen will go in, then back out a little bit, and then go back in. That's how you know it's loaded. Next, we will raise the bed by pressing the up arrow on the bed button. The platen will raise, click, stop, and lower just a little bit. Now this is normal because there are sensors in the machine that adjust the platen for optimal height. Now that the platen is loaded, we are going to tell the printer to do a nozzle check. First, you're going to hit the menu button once. You'll see the printer set up. Hit the forward button until you see test print. Now, if test print does not come up, keep hitting the forward button until you see it. Now once you find it, you want to hit the menu button to select it. Nozzle check is what we want. And again, if it does not say nozzle check, you can scroll to the options to find it. You hit menu once more on nozzle check to see nozzle check print. Now before you do nozzle checks, make sure your WIMP system is on. It's very important even if you do head cleans or any printing of that matter. Now we're going to press the menu button one more time to initiate the printing. 
The nozzle check is a very fast process. The platen will load and the printhead will make two quick passes. Also take note that when you do a nozzle check, the platen does not auto eject, so you're going to have to pull it out manually. Alright, now that you've pulled the platen out, inspect the nozzle check pattern which will be located at the top left corner of the platen. This pattern here is an example of a good nozzle check versus a bad nozzle check. Also take note that on your nozzle check you will have four white channels to the right of the CMYK channels. As long as all of the channels have perfect diagonal lines with no breaks in them, your printhead is primed. If you do have breaks in your lines or some of the channels are not appearing, perform another head clean and then check again.